here's what I want to talk about, Roland. First, do no harm. Or we've all been talking about the fishermen and tourism and the jobs that will be lost off of this right. bill. But little reported on has been the president's knee-jerk shutting down exploratory wells, 33 of them, with unclear guidance, which will make tens of thousands of job loss turn into hundreds of thousands of jobs lost. He is going to decimate the entire coast. And this is after his own SWAT team of inspectors came down and cleared all those rigs. Stop. Stop the madness. Hurry up and get the b I, berms done and that permitting done and stop all this crazy knee-jerk policy making. So the question that I think also comes up is, uh, if you're talking about, uh, you know, it, it, do we have the capability uh, to protect uh, the ocean if there's another spill? Uh, and so I don't know if that's one of the reasons why you sort of have uh, this this shutdown, if you will. But I do believe we we have to you know look at that uh, as a as a real issue, Mary. Because if we don't, then are we setting ourselves up for another problem down the road? He shut down Alaska. He shut down Virginia. This is a political sop to the enviros, and he did it in such a way that there's con absolute confusion. They don't know to, to shut everything down. Is it shut down for six months? It was a political right. gesture, and well, it did not have to do with the cleanup ability. And let's be honest: if this happened in Virginia, we're going to see the same reaction we're seeing right now in Louisiana. So I think some folks are skittish, if you will, as part of the reason here.